All right, Ron Jeremy just sent me somebody's knitted iPhone case. And there are little squid bubbles and a little Mario thing and Pac-Man and somebody needs a serious, serious hobby. You're being deliberately vague. Oh, really? Am I now? Go fuck yourself with a chainsaw sideways and get rabies while you're at it. Eat me! Uh -um. Uh, Darky and Cat, welcome back. Mouse that's being a piece of shit and battery's dead. Eat me. And I guess that that is a sign from God. Knut writes in, what's up with Americans and iPhones? It's a phone. Does, thank you, thank you. For the first time, somebody agrees with me. I don't need my phone to do anything special. I don't need my phone to like sing 50 cent to me. It doesn't need to like play the mambo or do the polka. My phone does one thing. It rings. It doesn't even ring creatively. It rings and it sounds like a bell. That's what phones do. You dial it. You press the five key. You get a five. Okay? You don't get a JKL. Fuck texting. One of these days like phones are gonna do everything. You might as well just have a USB port and plant it into your brain. Actually that would be even better because when the phone rang, you know, you'd automatically open your mouth and you'd hear like bam 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 and you couldn't shut it up. That would be funny, actually. Let's see. So, like, the phone starts ringing. That would really freak me out. All of a sudden, you know, you're talking just like I'm talking. And then you have no choice. And it's just like... Oh, I got my phone. That would freak the living shit out of me. I don't know. No, but seriously, one of these days we're gonna go way overboard, uh, overboard, overboard with the phones. Maybe I need a tongue twister. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of butter, butter, uh, <laughs> better than my bitter butter will make my batter better. Betty Butter bought some butter, better than her bitter butter. The end. Sweet. Uh, Sulfa Bat writes in. I bet if you stuck uh, the brains of an iPhone into a Furby, it would probably turn sentient. That would be very frightening. No, but, Knut, I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you. Phones do not need to do anything. They don't need to surf the web, all right? They don't need to have little faxes. They don't need to text. They don't need to send video, all right? They need to ring. I pick up my phone like so. Oh, the phone, it's ringing. Hello? And that's it. That's all it needs to do. Now, it's not that I wouldn't mind it. It's just that it's not necessary. Phones do not need to be your second brain. Just use the first one and you'll be just fine. Besides, have you ever seen when somebody puts one of those really embarrassing ringtones on a phone? And it, basically they're in a really serious situation. You know, they're talking to a professor, talking to their boss. And all of a sudden you hear like, And they got this look on their face like, oh, Fuck, I forgot to change it. Or, you know, they get really drunk the night before, and all of a sudden, they, they they turn it on, and some really raunchy ringtone comes on, like, Oh, fuck me harder! Fuck me harder! Over and over and over again! God damn, that would suck. See, just leave phones alone. Some things just shouldn't be done. Or, you know, it, God, I feel bad for Damon because he has talking caller ID. No wonder blind people speed up Jaws so quickly. Because without it, we could actually hear what they think of us. So instead of, like, being um, Angie calling for David, it would be like, Big cunt with dead twat calling. Big cunt with dead twat calling. Big cunt with dead twat calling. That would be bad. So the chances are, David would change it. Instead of video vamp, it would be like, Douchebag on the phone. Douchebag on the phone. Douchebag on the phone. And it does the exact same thing. ADHD in the air. Hey, vamp. Game player, what's happening, man? Player. Hey, let me show you. Let me show you my um, uh, the rain tone uh, I have on my iPhone here. No, oh, no. Give me one second. All right, take your time. That's the other thing I've heard about iPhones. They're slow. All right. Okay, so what you're saying is your iPhone pops a boner every time your phone rings. Do you not understand that that would be somewhat embarrassing to most people? No, I just kind of remind me of uh, one of the uh, NHP bits. 
which I find funny. Oh yeah, yeah, we have that sound effect. Uh, oh man, I hate it when I burp and the and the burp gets stuck in my throat, and then I don't know what to do with it, and I start <clears throat> right on my chest, and eventually. Burp some it, more. Yes, exactly. Uh, Hey, the voice clip right, so later. Cool. Oh, okay. You tried to send me something. It's not going to work. I'll let you carry on the show. All right. Take it easy, man. Thanks for the call. All right. Bye. Late. I just heard a Chinaman say late. All right. Let's see. Darky and Cat writes in that his dual screen can surf the web. That's great. Uh, what do you want? A freaking candy bar? Tech Pepsi writes in, phones need to do three things. Picks, rings, and vibrate. Web access on the phone is sad, although T-Mobile's sidekick started it all. I don't care who started it. It's just... I will be forced kicking and screaming to get a phone. I, you had to get me forced kicking and screaming to get a phone with a color display. Now, I love, I absolutely love phones, all right? And I love gadgets. But see, the thing is, until they invent, like, a small nuclear power cell that won't make my ear rot off, it will always consume more power to have color on a screen because all LCDs need backlights, and I know Sony's working on something that's going to change that, but still... It's actually really cool, and I think, I don't remember, maybe it was Rico that sent something to the staff list, but it's completely pliable self-lighting things. So, completely flexible. Basically, the thing looks like a, a piece of cardboard, and you can twist it, and you get a perfect LCD, and the pixels actually light themselves. Hadoot writes in that he saw a clip on the net about a phone that did the Transformer thing like the movie, but it was a concept. It was also computer animation. That's just my guess. Alpha Bat writes, oh god, I love my listeners. Alpha Bat writes in, yeah, it's called OLED, organic light emitting diode. That's correct. That's exactly what it is. If you want to do a YouTube on it during the break because my breaks are boring, then by all means do so. Uh, the tone, uh, that tone guy writes, that one guy writes in, uh, I hate people who just stand there and listen to music though. That shitty loud, oh, through that shitty loudspeaker on the phone, get a fucking iPod if you want to listen to music. If you are, if you are out. I totally agree. Speakerphone should be banned from all public communications. Uh, PseudoX writes that faggot phones need to do one thing, make calls, damn it. That's what I said, you dumbass. Clean out your ears and quit dumping bong resin in them. It won't clean your ear canals. I don't even know why I bought an iPod. I bought it, well, I, I know why I bought an iPod. I bought an iPod because during my last vacation, which was last August in New York, basically I saw Mike's and Mike said, you know, look, I can do, an I can watch an entire movie on the iPod. That's true, but what he didn't tell me was that the battery life was four hours tops, and that's without, well, no, actually, it's better with music, but my point is, I don't know. If given the option, chances are I would have bought a piece of shit MP3 player or a miniature something that would have been a lot less expensive and a lot less user-friendly than an iPod, because iPods are so user-friendly that they, they're complicated, because they don't give you the option to fuck anything up. That has always gotten to me. Game player writes in the one thing about the iPhone, and uh, now that he listens to the iPhone in one ear and the iPod in the other, you're going to get brain cancer faster than somebody who eats plutonium on their cornflakes every morning. 